we're, we're the only secondary school in our little town, which is Epping, but we still attract students from local areas. Um, and one of the big selling points that we have is our school building and our setting. We're a new build, but we're, we're you know, we've got a rich history, but we are a new, very new build. It's a groovy looking school, to be honest. Um, and one thing that we always do was tours, you know, the tours around the school, visits, etc. Obviously, this was stopped because of the COVID restrictions. So we were talking about different ways of trying to make it interactive. Uh, Minecraft was mentioned and it, and it made sense. There's a couple of kids I teach in year nine. I just spoke to them and said to them, well, could we build it? They're like, yeah, absolutely, sir. And then we asked around the year group. We got a group of kids together. Uh, I spoke to the head teacher. Head teacher was like, do what you want to do. do, do. <laughs> Trust you. Uh, it sounds brilliant. And that's what, that's what we did. And we, uh, we had it over, I think it was over three days. So I took them out of all lessons. Um, I spoke to their parents. I got made sure I got permission and got them all together and we uh, started our own um, Minecraft building exercise and we built it. We had 10 to 15 students involved in the build. The way we worked it was, I really was keen to give people positions and just to give them that kind of like that sense of leadership. And I had a lead uh, project manager and I kept calling him project manager. And what I asked him to do was how, how would you build this? How would we go about building this? And he was like, we'll give each person a section of the school and we'll give them their own ownership and stuff like that. And that's what we did. So we, we got the, the students together. The first thing we did was we draw it out. I had a, um, a graphics plan of the school that I created the year before. Uh, we all worked on the same live building. It was, it was really, it was collaboration at its best. And they literally built it in two days. In two full days, they built it. The next, the, the, the last day was the, the decorations so um that was that was the third day and then um the last day, i didn't need all the students all i needed was a project manager and one of the students who was quite good with uh, video recording and then we created a linear tour of the school using minecraft so you can download the file to log on to the world and walk around as you wish you can even edit it if you really want to or you can watch the linear video the classic challenges were software Obviously, you know, a lot of people are worried about costs, etc. There's no massive cost element here because the Minecraft education version comes with uh, Microsoft 365. You know, the, the security element and software element, we didn't want students to be using their own logins. So I had to get around the, the firewall and get uh, IT and s explain to them why. And my head teacher, every time I spoke to him, he was like, just do it. I don't care, just do it. So I had these full support. So those are the, the, the challenges that we had. And I think we had one kid who had to self-isolate during the period. So we lost that, you know, standard things, standard, you know, the challenges that come with COVID as well. The other teachers were actually going to go out their way to create these extra resources to ensure the kids don't fall behind, which is a really good thing that showed that they cared and they wanted to be part of it as well. So I, there's a thanks to them as well, definitely. So there are lots of people that make things happen. So what I learned was, you know, how can I think outside the box? for anything I do in the future definitely I would always think of how how can I present this in a different way how can I use technology effectively that's what I've learned is to try and be more creative it's made us think about how to work with the community as well and one thing that we want to do more of now is that primary school connection our local primary school has asked us to try and build their school I'm going to send groups of five to different primary schools to show them how to build their school in Minecraft. We also spoke about doing a little project of building the town. The, the children absolutely love the project, absolutely love the project. Uh, they were very proud of the project. They felt part of the community, part of the promotion of the school. They know why they were creating it. I was like, you are selling the school, you're promoting the school. And I felt like they know the school inside out. They were even talking about, you know what, so we can have avatars and we can add different teachers in different corridors and stuff like that. We could do this, we could do that. And I'm thinking they really feel part of the community. And they even started asking, talking to me about the school, about why don't we have this here? Why don't we do this here? So they're, they're, it, it gives them the wider thinking, which again, we had lots of positive responses from parents, et cetera. They were talking about how creative it was. We got some, as you can see, I sent you a few articles, got a lot of media coverage locally, because it was quite a, um, in you know, a really creative way of trying to sell your school and you know open evening's gone let's try and do something different when i see minecraft it's not a typical game it's not it is a creative game it really does computational thinking it does so many things for the kids in terms of thinking skills which is brilliant it brings so many different elements uh, into the classroom and i saw a group of 10 to 15 kids 
sit down, look at a, a kind of a bird's eye view of a building a map and then brought it to life using Minecraft, working together, collaborating, teamwork, creativity, interactivity, so many skills being, you know, are so evident right in front of me. And I would really recommend it, really recommend it as something that you could run in a school, even as a club even as a, um, you know, as an enrichment activity of some sort. It can fit in lot, lots of areas. You, you can go down the geography route. There's a lot of science elements in, in, in Minecraft as well. You've got the DT element, the design, the design technology element. You've got the art element as well, the computing skills. So it has got that mathematical element as well. So it's, it is, it's got a lot of uh, cross-curricular subjects being connected. The crazy thing about it, we, we, we did it all within a week. And it was literally a week before the open evening. It was a spare of the moment. It wasn't, let's not think too much, just get on with it. Let's be creative. Let's, let's see how IT can help us.